Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about why the devil cannot make backsliders relax. I put in open brackets and close brackets be gentle. I think that's for me, not for you guys and ladies, guys and gals. Basically, the reason being why the, the, the enemy doesn't want us to relax, the devil, is because he's going to try and cause, cause human beings to hate God, go against God, and you know, try and keep the devil will try and keep give give reasons and try and tempt us human beings and try and tempt us not to go back to Jesus, go back to God. I'm not telling you this I'm not telling you this in a judgmental attitude. I'm just just giving you giving you a gentle understanding that, you know, the moment that we backslide the devil is going to be in hot pursuit and revenge mode in and also in not and in not stopping at nothing to give for us to give reasons human beings give reasons to never go back to Christianity never go back to serving God or Jesus you know you could probably think probably thinking you know you don't need this at this time for some people we people go through people have different reasons for why they backslid sometimes it can be too much this is, this is the circumstances that, that you're going through or we're going through is probably too much to bear so that you know for us to for us to even think about going to church is too too much of energy where in actual fact you know when we're going through trials and problems it's, it's actually the church can help there's there, there's no such thing as a perfect church um, you might find that your church has issues you have too much problems at your church but if you're looking for a church please give me a call and I'll do my utmost to help you out but yeah basically you know Sometimes, you know, when when something goes wrong really bad in our lives, we we tend to question or sometimes tend to question, you know, where is God if I if I have this if I have this calamity, this chaos, where was God? Where was Jesus when I need him needed need him the most? You know sometimes life doesn't always give us the perfect questions and uh, and sorry, life doesn't always give us the perfect answers and you can even say life doesn't, life doesn't always give us the, pe the perfect questions to ask I'm not saying I'm not saying you guys don't have good enough questions to ask I'm sure and I'm 100% sure your questions are valid and, and important to you and important to the person that you're telling it to depending on how, how well they understand your question your depending on how well they understand understand uh, understand the situation and the circumstances that you're going through but you know you know we should always try and fight 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 for what we believe in and you know do your best if, if you've given up already or just about to give up you know give it a try and just ask ask for guidance from people that you you know and trust that are, that are Christians and see what they say the people that you know know already that are Christians already friends or family maybe so you know you know yeah mm. so yeah that that's really all I have to say in this video so God bless take care and peace be with you bye for now